Hey guys and girls, now this is gonna be a video that you're going to want to share with your friends because there are very few people out there that know you can do this or how to do this. You take your spark plug out of your engine and you look at it. There is a ton of information on that spark plug as to what's going on in your engine. It's called how to read a spark plug. I'm gonna take you through that right now. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon again. SteveSmallEngineSaloon.com right there. That's my website. Check it out when you get a chance. I also got a little link up here for you in the information button if you want to check it out that way. Um, Keystone Light. Guys, the word on the street is that Keystone Light is the exact same beer as Coors Light. They make it in the same brewery. They just put it in a different can. Is that true? Put some comments down below and tell me if that's true or not. That's what I've heard. I can't tell the difference. That's good stuff. We are talking about fouled spark plugs today and what they mean when you look at them. I could go on and on and on, you guys, for about two hours going through all of the different color variations and what they might mean. Nobody's going to watch a two-hour video anyways, so I'm just going to take you through the top five different color variations and what they might mean when you pull your spark plug out. Um, things I've learned over the last 30 years. These are the top five. The one that's normal that, that you should be looking for, I'm gonna leave that till the end. Stay tuned for that. Before we get into this, um, I'm gonna be referring to uh, two strokes, two cycles, four strokes, four cycle engines through this video and the different plugs. So I'm just gonna say this one time so I don't have to keep repeating myself. When I say two stroke, two cycle engine, that means it's the one that you mix your fuel with. You mix your gas and your oil with that. It's typically your chainsaws, your weed eaters, your hedge trimmers, stuff like that. Your four stroke, four cycle engines that I'm gonna be referring to are ones you don't mix your fuel, you put straight gas in it and it has a separate area for your, for your oil. Uh, typically your lawnmowers, your pressure washers, riding lawnmowers, um, rototillers, stuff like that. Okay, let's get into this then. One of the most common things that I see is a spark plug that looks like this right here. It looks wet, it looks black, and you wipe a little bit on your finger like that and you smear it around on your finger, it feels greasy. That is oil fouling on your spark plug. Now, we'll start with the two strokes, two cycles, the stuff that you mix your gas in. The most common reason that I see a spark plug that looks like that on your two strokes is from your oil mix being too rich. Something is making that thing burn too rich. Um, your oil mixture should be at about 40 to one or 50 to one, something like that. A lot of people out there think 50 to one means half and half. They'll literally put half the gas, half the oil in there. That's way too much oil. Maybe you accidentally just mixed it accidentally at 20 to one. That could be a reason that your two stroke right there is making your spark plug look like that. It can't burn the oil that you're trying to make it burn. The other one that um, I can uh, think of for a two stroke is that your carburetor, you, everybody knows the two strokes out there. You got, you got your low speed, you got your high speed, you tune your carburetor, you actually can adjust your low speed your uh, your uh, air fuel mixture on that. Your carburetor could be set completely wrong. Hey, on that note right there, you guys, I'm showing you what could possibly be wrong with your engine right here. Well, what about repairing it? I got tons of videos on my channel already. I got four slots up here in the information button, and I got four slots at uh, the end of this video with clickable thumbnails that you can click on there. I'll split them between there so you can get back to some videos, some actual repair videos on how to repair some of this stuff. If you don't see anything you like in there, just go back to my channel and uh, look through all my playlists and stuff and you'll probably find something on there how to repair this stuff. 
Moving on to your four-stroke four-cycle engines that have a spark plug that look like that in there, where you don't mix your gas. Some of the problems that could be with that are a blown head, a slightly blown head gasket where your engine still runs, but the, the, the head gasket could be slightly blown, where you're getting that engine oil up into the combustion chamber. Could be that your rings, your piston rings, are so worn out that the oil is actually slipping past your piston where it shouldn't be, and that's causing that problem. Also, it could be your valve guides that are worn out in that. That is really rare. I've only seen that a few times, and they're only on really old four-stroke engines that uh, have a lot of use on them, and they're worn out anyways. That's when your oil is gonna start slipping past your, your, valve, your valve guides. Okay, moving on to number two. You got a spark plug that looks like this right here. It looks similar to the last one I just showed you, but it doesn't look wet and uh, slippery like that. It's, it's black still, but it's dry and it's dusty. You wipe a little bit on your finger like that and it's kind of powdery on your finger. Kind of like the soot that comes out of your fireplace. You see a spark plug that looks like that? That's called carbon fouling. That is also from your engine burning overly rich but it generally has nothing to do with oil contamination in there. It's something else that's making that burn rich. Your, your, your engine is not burning what you're trying to make it burn. Two strokes and four strokes both could be that your heat range on that spark plug is too cold. That could be the only problem. It could have something to do with the climate you live in or even the altitude that you live in, where if you try everything else, and nothing else works and your, your spark plug is still all black and dusty like that, it could simply be that you need to bump your heat range up in your, in your spark plug, maybe one or two heat ranges hotter, and that could solve your problem right there. Could also be that the gap on that spark plug is too wide, so it's not burning properly also. Could be that you have low compression in your engine. I've seen that happen before. I've also seen that when this happens that your choke sometimes is stuck or it's not working properly where your choke is never really opening up fully it's kind of half choked or fully choked so your engine's always just kind of chugging along that's going to definitely make your spark plug look like that as well as a dirty air filter that's a big one you guys if you have a really dirty air filter it's doing the same thing as as choking your engine off it's going to do that too. clean your air filter you guys as far as two strokes, specifically for two strokes, the biggest ones that I see here are, again, your carburetor is just adjusted incorrectly. Your low speed, high speed screws need to be adjusted so it's actually burning correctly. As well as your oil fuel mixture could still be too rich, not rich enough to make that thing look wet, but still burning too rich like that. Could also be that th this is a big one, you guys. Specifically, like weed eaters, hedge trimmers like that. There's a lot of people out there that will take, say you take your weed eater out there and, and you're going to, to do, your, do your trimming. And you rev it up, you see a weed over there and you go rev it up, cut that weed. And then you go over here and rev it up and cut that weed. Your RPMs never really come up to full RPM on a two stroke, like especially a weed eater or hedge trimmer. Those things are designed to run wide open throttle. You wanna pin that trigger down, let that thing run full, wide open RPM, and that's gonna make your engine burn properly. It's never getting up to temperature, it's never getting up to speed, and your spark plug is gonna look like that right there just from doing that. So it could be technically improper use of what you're actually running. Let's go with number three. Here's this spark plug right here. This is a perfect example right here of ash deposits. It looks very similar to the last one I just showed you with that excessive carbon buildup on it. It's all that crusty stuff on there, except it's not black, it's white. That is on a four stroke engine, that is from excessive oil in your combustion chamber. Again, it could be from, from worn out piston rings, uh, worn out valve guides, uh, it could be actually from having too much oil in your engine. A lot of people will overfill their engine oil and that engine oil is working itself up into the combustion chamber 
and it's going to be burning so much fuel that it's going to make those ash deposits on there. In a two-stroke engine, the only time I've ever seen this in a two-stroke engine is from really bad stale fuel mixed with uncertified mix oil. You get those two combinations together, it's, it, it actually will cause that in your two-stroke engine too. I hardly ever see this, you guys, on any engine, four-stroke or two-stroke, but I thought it was worth putting in this video because I do see it sometimes. And uh, there you go. If you see that on your spark plug, now you know what that is. The fourth thing that I read on spark plugs sometimes is an overheating issue when your engine is too hot. Nobody wants their engine to be running too hot. That is a bad thing. If you have a spark plug that looks like that right there, it's pure white on the end. There's no crust, no buildup of any kind. It's just white. And then if you look really close at that ceramic porcelain piece in there, if you see any speckling on there, it looks like little crystals on there. That's a sure sign that your engine is running too hot. I've actually only ran into this a few times on four strokes. It's not very common on a four stroke engine. The ones that I've ran into are a guy who has his lawnmower revved up to like 4,000, 5,000 RPM. It's running way too fast and that could cause that problem right there. Also the heat range, depending again on your climate or the elevation you live at, maybe your heat range on that spark plug is too hot. You might want to bump it down one or two notches into the colder heat range on your spark plug. That also applies to two-stroke engines right there, if you see that. The other thing on a two-stroke engine, again, your carburetor, your low-speed, your high-speed screws on that carburetor on a two-stroke are set incorrectly. It's running way too lean, and that's a bad thing on a two-stroke engine. Make sure that your carburetor is tuned properly. So number five, what is a normal spark plug supposed to look like then? I've actually heard from some manufacturers out there that actually use the words coffee brown color, like that one right there. You look at that spark plug, that is a coffee brown color. Uh, sometimes it'll be a beige, tannish color, sometimes a little bit gray. All those kind of colors are good colors that you want to see on your spark plug. The point is really that you don't see any buildup. You don't see any crust on there at all. It's burning properly, and that's what you want to actually see on there. However, check this out. I just put a brand new spark plug in my chainsaw not that long ago, but I've used it lots. I've used it tons. I've cut up. I fell a few trees with it. I've, I've cut up lots of firewood with it. Here's the spark plug out of that chainsaw right there. And it's not coffee brown. It's not gray. It's not tan, it's not beige. It just still looks brand new. So obviously that's a normal spark plug too. I just haven't got enough time, enough hours on that chainsaw to actually turn it to a coffee brown color. So I hope I was thorough enough for you guys and clear enough. I hope that was informative for you guys. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this with your friends. Like I said at the beginning of this video, there's a lot of people that don't know you can do this. A lot of information on those spark plugs, guys. Put some comments down at the bottom of this channel. Let me know what you thought. I'm working hard on the next video as usual. Steve out.